Hi Taurus, welcome back to Key Wisdom to Raw. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This Taurus is your love reading for the month of March. I'm going to draw six cards for you today, six cards for you today at least, each covering a different aspect or energy of love in the month of March. I've already shuffled and meditated. I'll do a little bit more shuffling on camera and then we'll get started. Okay, there may be one more. Um, very interesting energy, actually. You've got um, we not we don't need the bottom of the deck, but that's not a bad card, is it? Um, interesting energy, Taurus. You, it seems that that you've been a little bit stuck in this area in love and romance. Um, there's there's a it's pretty stagnant actually, and what I mean by that is that you've been unable to resolve something in your mind or unable to reconcile something within yourself regarding a romantic um, relationship or connection or maybe a relationship of another sort um, but we'll start um, for those of you new to my channel I do read intuitively so I always um, deal face down and this these are your clarifying cards okay my darlings so my darlings let's get started I've just been meditating as I always say, I've been meditating and wow, man, I'm like properly like, that was a very good meditation. Okay, so this is your first card. Your overall energy or focus for the month of March in love is, <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm not laughing. I'm, 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 well, I am, but <laughs> that was a blatant lie. But I mean, in the, in the sense there's of, um, you know, this is exactly the energy that I was picking up on for you. There's been, there seems to have been, You've been unable to to move forward, to to d decisively act on a situation. That is where you've been, um, Taurus, and it seems that um, that's a theme that is that that is definitely around with you at the beginning of the month. Um, now, on the first of the month, Venus enters Aquarius, um, and on the fifth of the month, Mercury goes retrograde in Pisces. You can read the description box below for a full breakdown, and. You know, those two transits, you know, Venus, the love and, and discernment of Aquarius, but then combined then with um, Pisces season and the Mercury retrograde in Pisces can lead to some confusion. But I'm hoping as the reading continues, we can see there's a movement on from this energy. So number sevens is um, seven on the tree of life is endurance. And really that endurance is to to enjoy something is to as a challenge to face a challenge and to keep facing it until you've overcome it that is what endurance means and and obviously that is what you that's what the number seven means and in this instance with it being cups energy it's about our emotions so it's like you have been challenged by something you know this has been something that has been as i said before stagnant and i mean that as i said in a sense of unable to move forward decisively unable to move on from somebody decisively for example unable to commit unable to commit fully to the relationship that you're currently in for example unable to forgive a partner or a past lover for example so that type of energy so it's interesting how there's, there's there seems to be some more confusion not necessarily confusion i feel like this is really a sense of you are really now at the point where you have you are lost <laughs> like that sounds uncomfortable but it is you know you really are you've been thinking about this for so long or 
you know, in this position for such a long time that you, you're sort of struggling really to, to, to come out of it. There's a card that wants to come out here, so that's why I'm pausing. I think it is this one. Yeah, it is. We've got the Page of Pentacles. So there's something coming through anyway. You know, this is your energy, um, Taurus. This is... Um, obviously related to you guys, Virgo and Capricorn, Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles, I always say, is being on a journey to understand really where he wants to put his energy. So it's looking like even if this month is confusing, you know, by the time Mercury goes direct in Pisces on the 28th of um, March, it could be that by that point, the confusion lifts and clears and you understand really where you want to put your energy um, and what type of relationship that you want to manifest, okay? So that's really, I'm glad that that came out just to clarify for us. Okay, the next card is what or who you could encounter or experience in the month of March, and that is this. So, you know, again, we've got two things here. So we've got this trying to weigh up a decision, you know, trying to think about, you know, decide on what which way to play it you know am i gonna walk away am i gonna commit am i gonna tell the truth am i gonna not weighing up those options um for example but also this energy the two of pentacles um again it's your energy but also this energy relates to um our pri priorities and to be able to being able to prioritize so it's like there's things, two things that are equally as important to you. It might be if there's two people, for example, you sort of, you know, I would like to spend time with this person, I have a good commitment connection with this person, or I like to spend time with my, my husband, my wife, my partner, my girlfriend, whatever. But I would rather be with my friends or I'd rather be single and I'm on a spiritual journey. Whatever it is, it's like you're struggling almost to, to make a, to make a commitment to just one thing because there are there are multiple not options necessarily but there are things that you care deeply about and that might be two different people or it might be two situations you know as i said you might want to get married but you're afraid and but you know you you um or whatever you know two, two different um things that you that you care about and you're willing to put energy and effort into so it could be two different people um, it doesn't necessarily have to be though. Number twos are a commitment, commitments we make to something and Pentacles energy is about where we put our energy to manifest. So this is you trying to overcommit, you know, putting your energy into more than, and committing yourself, as I said, to two different people or try to commit to two different circumstances. A house which is divided will not stand. So there's no point saying, yeah, I'm all in this marriage, I'm all in this relationship, but actually all you want to do is go out with your friends or all you want to do is, I don't know, whatever else people do nowadays, I don't know. So um, that's, that, that is the energy of that, so really. Um, let's move on then to, so that's what you could encounter. If it's a who you could encounter, it could be a fellow earth sign, so a fellow Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Okay, next energy is the perspective. So where you are coming from, um, or I, so excuse me, where you want to go or where you are coming from. Okay, and with the energy of this is the King of Wands. So this is winking at me now. So let me just talk about, mm, might be... We'll see, it might be it's either one of them. I think it is that one. Sorry. Uh this is this is how this is how we go when we read intuitively. Okay. So my darlings, we've got the King of Wands, um, which is your where you're coming from or where you're going. So if this is where you're coming from, it's as if at one point you were confident in what you wanted. You were able to take com move confidently um toward the people or the situations that you wanted to that you wanted to move towards. And there may have been a change in that. If this is where you are going, this is obviously what you want. You want to achieve this confidence. You want to be able to confidently, as opposed to in, with these two energies here, you want to confidently be able to move toward the situation that you want. You want that clarity to come through. So this clarifying card should hopefully give us some additional information for you. And we've got the judgment energy. So this is, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm not I'm not a clear audience. I'm I'm a clear um clear audience means you can hear things. Um clairvoyant is what people call psychics basically. They can see things. And um clairsentient is people can sense things like like myself. 
Um, but I got a very clear, um, <laughs> a very clear, as soon as I turned that over, the words came through loud and clear um, on this card. And you've got to fess up, some of you. You've got to fess up. So for some of you, there's a, there's a, to fess up means to confess something. So for some of you, um, this is your perspective, your past. It might have been that you wanted to say something, but you didn't. Or you are wanting to say something now. And you are afraid of, of obviously, making such a statement or being very clear with somebody or being very honest with somebody. Um, but obvious, obviously, the judgment energy is um, is all about revelations. It's all about learning new things about ourselves um, and having situations that actually make us confront ourselves, make us confront what we what we have done, how we behave, and um, how we act, etc. So it could be absolutely anything with a judgment um, judgment energy. You know, judgment energy could be. Um, any sort of circumstance or situation that really where you end up feeling like you have revealed, you have found something out about yourself, you've actually learned something about yourself. So it could be, for example, if you've broken up with someone, you know, you have a new relationship with someone and you left that person, this could be leaving that person. But actually, after you leave that person, you realise, oh, being apart from that person means I actually do want to marry them or whatever, you know, I, do, I actually do want... I actually do love that person. So that's kind of the judgment. That's the kind of revelation that you can have with judgment. So this is about confidence, really. Acting with confidence. For some of you, the message is very clear. You have to come clean. That's the words that came through. You have got to come clean and you have got to be confident. And and actually, if this is the perspective of some of you, this is what some of you actually want. Some of you are actually wanting to come clean about something. You are wanting to come clean to somebody about something. The somebody may be a fire sign or, as I said, it could be a, a fellow earth sign, um, a Capricorn, Taurus or a Virgo. Okay? So the next energy, my darlings, is the love... <laughs> this is linked to that. The, the, anyway, love potential or love lesson for the month of March. Okay? And we have got the three of wands. So, you know, we know that time energy effort has already been invested with the three of wands by you Taurus this is something that you've you've been trying to get to a place where you can move forward now or you can start having the, the things that you want so similar to what we said up here you know the confusion is is around you definitely at the beginning of the month and as we said you know we know um from the fifth um we know from the fifth uh mercury is retrograding pisces you know the the planet the communication planet ma planet of mercury is, is communication and pisces which is obviously difficult for me right now i know <laughs> pisces is deep emotion but then uranus enters your sign taurus on the sixth and i've written a bit of an in-depth description of that below of what you might be experiencing when that happens because obviously uranus is about transformations so it might be there's, you know, from the 6th to about the 28th when Mercury finally goes direct, that we actually, that you actually know what it is you want to do. And it might be that this energy of wanting something, wanting to have something coming towards you, um, the anticipation of something new coming towards you that is beneficial, that you want, that you've been wanting um, and been decisive about finally, that might will come hopefully by the end of, by the 28th of March. So the three of wands, so wand energy is about is related to your second chakra, which is your sacral chakra, all about your passions, your inspirations, what you are drawn to, your urges, your motivations, that energy that you have to do things, um, to want to do things, the excitement that we feel, etc. But the second, the sacral chakra is also the place where we store our fears, where we store our vulnerabilities, where we store the slights to our character, the, the times when people hurt us and put us down. Um, all those vulnerabilities. So the things that we really, really want to do, the things that we're passionate about are also the things that really scare us the most. We're, we're afraid to, to go after those things because of the other things, as I said, that we hold in that area. So this is the, the energy here of the wand energy is about perseverance. We carry on. We carry on with wands. We, 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 because we have to, 
we can't deny these things. We can't deny what it is we want. So we have to continue. And that's like a struggle. The three of, um, can be a struggle, but the three of one suggests that the struggle is over. So the struggle to try to understand, the struggle to, to, to try to reveal or to become more confident and to expose yourself, for example, the, the struggle to be vulnerable, that is something that is coming for you. The three of, um, ones there's an there's an example that i've been using recently so um it's like dragging the um the ship on your back you know to the to the sh to the water's shore and there's only you doing it and you've got to drag and you've got to pull but you know do you know what i'm gonna do it i'm committed to doing this i want to do this and you're dragging it up the roads and up the hills and across the beach and finally you get there and after that the ship's on the water and it is plain sailing after that and that's like the energy of this card here. You've already done some work and it might have been a struggle for you. As I said, I know that the energy has been stagnant. I can feel that, you know, you've not been able to move on. But but sitting with that stagnancy, but recognising and reflecting, oh my gosh, yeah, maybe I did make a mistake or oh my gosh, maybe I'm not in the right situation for me. Whatever it is for you as an individual, recognising that is the work. You've done the work or you're doing the, the, the finishing off this, this last push, if you will, in March, okay? And look, we've got two, three, so we've got cooperation here. The number three is a, a master number. It's related to the collective consciousness and the collective unconsciousness. It's related to um, your angels, your ancestors, all those people that give us messages that have passed, uh, whatever you personally believe. And um, the, so the number three is a very strong number and it indicates that you are working in conjunction with your soul purpose your life purpose your soul path your soul contracts whatever you call it and you're working in conjunction with the universe so that means that there's help around you there's help around you but you also are doing something as well in order that this help is also around you encouraging you so it's as if as i said you go through the struggle to drag that boat to understand to become clear to to know who you are to know what it is you need to do now to be decisive you've done that work you've put your end of the bargain in you've exercised your pentacle the universe does the rest man the universe does the rest and we'll see the reactions the outcomes of the work that you've done you'll be able to see the outcomes manifested pentacle energy manifested this month by the end of march you'll be able to see okay because i now understand because i've now come clean because i now know because i've now reflected etc whatever you've been doing it's now time to see the benefits if you will of that effort and that energy okay so there is cooperation here and there is um there seems to be an element of i don't want to say reward but your efforts will be rewarded, your efforts to understand and to become decisive and to become clear about what it is you want in a relationship, those or not, those efforts will be rewarded in March. That's what you can expect for your love potential or love lesson, okay? This is your challenge, my darling Taurus. Your challenge is King of Swords. So your challenge is similar to what we said up here. It's about being honest, okay? Being truthful, being honest with yourself, being honest with others around you in your life as well. The King of Swords. So the sword energy is all about our thoughts, our minds, our clarity, our consciousness, our communication. What we say, what we think, what we allow ourselves to say, what we allow ourselves to think. And this is why it can be difficult because sometimes we don't want to face up to the fact that maybe I've been in this relationship too long and it's time to be over or maybe I am lonely now and I do want to start getting into a relationship or yes, I did mess up that last relationship and I do owe him or, or I owe her an apology, for example. That is why it's challenging. And you're trying to work out this month, as I said, where you're going to put your energy, how you're going to be truthful and honest. And that's hard. And, and as I said, it's not just hard because it's with other people. Because it's hard, the sword energy is about your consciousness, what you allow yourself to accept. Sometimes there are parts of our lives, of our brains, of our experiences that we completely ignore. Because we don't want to face up to how it makes us feel about ourselves. That is the 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 sort of 
the crux almost of the sword energy. You know, the maturity. You know, we have the queen of swords before the king or with the king, if you will. And the queen is about understanding, okay, I need to listen. I need to hear. And the king is about acting on what you hear what you allow yourself to know about yourself, what you allow yourself to accept. And the king is about acting on that. So this is saying that, yeah, it might be a challenge this month. And we've got Mercury retrograde. We've got Uranus in your sign, which, as I said, is all about transformation. I've given you details below. I've given you details of my key dates. Venus in Aquarius, Mercury retrograde and Uranus in Taurus. You can read that on my Instagram and Facebook or it's obviously down below the full information for you. And that is why it can be a challenge for you. But we know that this is a month that looking at these two cards here, yes, it's a challenge. You don't know how, you don't know what, you don't know how you're going to say it. But by the end of it, you do. Because as I said, your overall energy of focus for this month is that basically the confusion clears and you do finally work out because you've been working at it, you've been doing the work, you do finally work out, right, I need to come clean to myself and then if it's to somebody else as well, that's what you need to do. So this is, I was just about to say about the Knight of Swords actually, this is your advice on how to achieve balance. So the advice is the Knight of Swords. So I talked about the Queen comes with the King. So the Queen understands what she needs to do, excuse me, understands what she thinks and she lets herself accept what her thoughts and her um, experiences, she lets herself accept those and the king acts on those. The night is, it's an energy really and it's quite furious uh, to to experience it. And you know me, as I said, I'm an empath and I, and I work with energy and my Reiki master. So when I first experienced this energy fully and actually this week, about this this weekend Sunday I was I was spending a lot of time with the energy of the Knight of Wands and I tell you what man that it, that that's woo, I tell you man it took me a, it took me a while to come down if you will you know it was pretty high energy this is a similar energy pretty high energy but I'll explain the difference for you there's a post by the way on my Instagram all about the Knight of Swords which I wrote <laughs> at the time so check that out if you want more information on that okay so the queen's about understanding, the king's on about acting on our understanding. The knight is coming into understanding, coming into the energy of trying to understand, tr work, doing the working out, um, having those conversations, um, coming up with coming up with solution after solution after solution, wanting to try this, wanting to talk to that person. Will this work? Will that work? Shall I say this? Shall I say that? And it's active, so you want to reach out, you want to say something, but the only thing about the knights are they're not right, fully used to, to, to this. We know it's new for you because you haven't been decisive. Well, this is showing decisiveness now. This is showing decisive action now. This is what this card is showing, decisive action. But the decisive action is like you don't really know the out, what the outcome's going to be, but you've got all the will in the world and all the energy to give everything a go. That's the energy of the Knight of Swords. So this might be if, you, if your girlfriend dumped you or if your boyfriend dumped you, whatever, three months ago and you want to get back with her, this might be, right, I'm going to go speak to a friend, right, let me see what a friend say. Right, let me get contact someone on Facebook. Oh my gosh, like maybe I can send her some flowers. Oh my gosh, let me write, let me record a mixtape. This is the energy of the Knight of Swords. You're doing all the right things. You're putting all the right, you're putting all the energy in. You've got all that energy, that will to to give that apology or to come clean or to or to um apologize or to get out there on the dating scene and to or to be more open and honest or to be more authentic with people that you're meeting or in your relationship or whatever it is you for you as an individual but it comes across in that way and it feels because you're like that you're like oh my right let me think of an idea like can i do will will this one around or all right how can i let me start on dating on this oh i'll do speed dating first and then i'll go right let me ring my friend and it's that. And you know how how that was when I'm just explaining it to you now? Believe me, when you're actually feeling that, when you're actually... I mean, I, see, I'm a, very, I'm a very talented actor, darling. But I try to give you a sense of the rush of energy that you will be feeling 
with this. The Knight of Swords is for the Knights, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, as I said. It took me, like, I had to get in my shower. I was, like, in the shower for about half an hour. I had, I had a, 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 like, a, a fucking 45-minute meditation on the on the sofa. I was up here. I was, like, with the Knight of, so with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Swords is even higher frequency. It's her energy. It's even higher frequency energy. So when I'm speaking to you, how I'm saying, oh, it's going to be like this. I'm going to try. I'm trying to give you a sense, a real sense of how you might be feeling. And you might not sleep because you're excited. That's that's definitely a Knight of Wands, actually. You might feel a similar thing. You might not think, you might not be able to sleep as well because you, you're waking up thinking about, right, let me try this, or you're, waking, you're going to sleep with it in your head. So it can be quite, oh, let's relax. <laughs> but yeah, read that post about the Knight of Swords anyway. So it look, it's looking like overall, finally, by the end of um, March, and I'm suggesting probably... Um, by the third week um, or definitely by the fourth week. So we've got the um, full moon in Libra. The full moon comes through. The full moon usually brings in usually brings in awareness of what's b below the surface. So really by the 20th, you could expect this um, energy of the Seven of Cups to be um, cleared and you could expect to, to actually know then, okay, this is, I know what I want to offer. And then come the 28th if it is about you wanting to reach out to someone that communication that will come by the 28th of march so we look it's looking like decisive change finally in your love life in however that affects you personally in your situation okay my darlings and remember what was on the bottom of the deck ordinarily because the first usually the bottom of the deck is the foundation it's really where you're headed if you will um you know the overall energy or experience of the of this of this time period and usually I look at this in my bi-weekly readings, but obviously that's your overall energy and focus for this month. But actually, because we've got the page of pentacles, they're offering the pentacle, it, it's looking like there is a new beginning coming for you, a new start. That would definitely sort of make sense with the narrative, if you will, of the energies of this of this um, reading. Okay, my fabulous Taurus, I hope you like that reading. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments as well. I read every single comment and I endeavour to reply to them as well. Please feel free to share this video on your social media, your Facebook, your WhatsApp, if you think it might be helpful to your friends. And you can subscribe to, to my channel obviously it's free just by clicking the little icon there um, you'll get notifications of any new uploads that i produce my next uploads are going to be next week at some point um just a, a short uh, a shorter reading before we do the more in depth by weeklies again uh, the following week um and you can also as i said follow key wisdom to raw on um instagram and on Facebook for those additional readings and additional posts on, you know, specific energies. There's one on judgment as well. There's one on the number sevens. There's a video of the number sevens, excuse me, in my Key Wisdom playlist. In the Key Wisdom playlist, you will find all sorts of stuff about mindfulness, meditation, compassion, etc. And individual time required meanings. Um, so my darlings, do not forget your bi-weekly general readings up to the 5th of March are still available to view. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful month, um, Taurus, full of love and clarity and truthfulness, okay? Take care, my darling Taurus. Bye.